The following is a presentation of TFNN. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate your growling and problem with us out here. We have the Dow Industrial uh, flat. NASDAQ is down three. S&Ps also flat. Gold contract uh, down a buck 40 trading at 14.12 an ounce. Silver. Let's look at silver. So silver, folks, has been the laggard in the metals market in a huge way. And, you know, this baby picked up its head uh, realistically the last week. And we were talking about yesterday, you had Pan American silver. You could see that this thing wanted to move. Well, silver caught a bid uh, in a huge way out here today. Uh, it's pretty cool how this is uh, shaking out. Very unusual, I can tell you that. Uh, with gold being flat, silver's up 30 cents. And guess what? You have volume behind this move. And we're talking about uh, big volume behind this move also. Uh, so the, give me one second. Sorry about that. I got to get that uh, MN. What the heck is that? Notes. Hey, I'll get this, these charts up. I got to find that notes first. Oh, I'm sorry, man. Let's see. What's, one second, folks. Notes. Where are you, man? Okay. So, notes oh, there we go sorry okay get those charts up for the tv there we go okay so let's get over to the silver market and take a look at it what do you have uh we take a look at the silver market you talk about a bid man this this not only took a bid uh what you're gonna have here folks is a nice abc structure on the way up you're blowing apart the B point, the B point on this uh, has about 82,000 contracts. You're at 66 right now. So your, your A point, your B point on this is a 16, 20, 15, 1562. Your A point out here is uh, 1435. So you get about a buck 30, which is going to get you into the 1630 mark. And guess what? What this is gunning for is the high of 1647 going back to February 20th. That's how this baby is set up. So nice setup, no doubt. Uh, some of the higher volume equities out here, we had all the banks come out with, uh, not all the banks, but many of the banks come out here with numbers this morning. Uh, Bank of America down 15 cents right now. We have uh, JP Morgan uh, off about uh, 10, and you get Wells Fargo is uh, trading up uh, 19. We go over and take a look at Wells Fargo first. What you have them with Wells Fargo out here, uh, bottom line, it's already rejected lower price. Uh, bottom line, these, these things want a slightly higher uh, price. Now, that being said, uh, they, they still make a fortune, man. There's, there's, no, there's no doubt about it. Uh, it. It has, if you look at these headlines, it says, uh, yeah, Wells Fargo shares slump as pain from lower rates set in. Not even close, folks. That's the bottom line. Uh, it, and it's really wild that you see this quite a bit, um, that the bottom line is that you know, they come out with numbers. Now, I'm just talking about the banks. I'm just talking about equities in general. Um, and then you see a headline like that coming across. Like, really? Uh, guess what? Yeah, the stock was down to 46.18. Uh, you're at 46.94. But bottom line is that any, all of these uh, banks, they only were trading down like 20 cents. Um, and they've rejected lower price. Uh, and the heads up here is just as we did yesterday inside Citigroup. Citigroup was the first one to come out with numbers. Citigroup traded down and rejected lower price, ended up fin finishing flat at the day. Citigroup yesterday traded down to 70 bucks, ended up closing out at 71.71. So bottom line, uh, they do want higher price. Amazon, this is the second day of uh, uh, Amazon Prime, and what you have with Amazon out here this morning, Amazon's trading uh, 218. Uh, this also is at highs and uh, bottom line looks to me like it's going gonna, gonna to continue higher. Uh, you know, yesterday we closed at the high, which is 2022. Right now you're at 2018. Uh, Facebook. Facebook uh, out here, the bottom line is that uh, Facebook still up a buck 43. You're at $205.35. Uh, what the uh, government is coming out here this morning, they're going to try to 
well, no, they will <laughs> shut this Libra de deal down. Uh, uh, what you're going to see, you're going to see some heavy pressure uh, coming at Facebook from every which way. Uh, the, this morning, what they, uh, the administration is trying to push out here is that just to stop them in their tracks from even moving forward uh, with l the Libra deal. Bottom line is that uh, I, I suspect that uh, they're not going to basically stop in the tracks, but guess what? Uh, the money supply, folks, is the golden goose, and they're not going to let uh, <laughs> a private company take over the money supply, I suspect, because the, guess what? Uh, power has to be grabbed, and uh, Facebook's trying to grab it. I don't think it's going to fly. Bo, bonds, notes and bonds. Uh, Bob, let's go to the, take a look at the 30-year first. Uh, what we have with this 30-year out here, as well as the 10, you're backing down. Uh, that being said, you have not get got into the, the lows of last week. The 30-year is showing. We just went from a price point of 154.08 to 153.16. You get 120,000 contracts uh, traded out here, and it looks to me that uh, all we're doing is we're testing the lows that were established last week on dramatically lighter volume. Um, we'll, we'll, the 30-year, we're at 120,000 contracts. 30-year will probably do about 300, while well, the 300 is going into 411, and it hasn't got to the lower price. What we're actually doing is that we're coming against the breakout from May, and this would be a normal retracement in a market that does want higher price. Gold, gold contract out here. Uh, bottom line, you get a sideways move. We have moved higher yesterday, had some volume behind the move. Um, you know, the, the, the silver move, uh, this is like just come out of nowhere. And uh, bottom line is, it is what it is. Uh, and that's, you know, silver uh, is a highly volatile instrument. There's no two ways about that. Uh, if we go take a look at uh, a couple of the silver equities, you got Pan American Silver. This is uh, up 21 cents. So this will be intriguing to see how it goes after this uh, swing high of 1362. Right now, you hit 1340. Uh, it's going to need uh, more than 4.6 million to do an ABC structure on the way up. Now, that can get that volume out here today. We're at 1.1 right now. Uh, let's go look at uh, EXK, oh, I know, First Majestic. We t take a look at uh, AG. Let's see what AG is doing. So that's up 18 cents. It's 1.2 million shares. That needs 7 million. That's, got, that's, that's not going to have enough money. Now, what has happened is that Hecla has been the weak link inside of the silver market. Still hasn't caught a bid yet. Up uh, a penny, 174. So... That baby, uh, EXK, let's go take a look at, you got Endeavor, Endeavor's up nine cents, that's trading 194. Yeah, let's, let's get volume in it. It's got volume and it looks like it does want to trade to uh, 215, you're at 194. Some of the higher volume equities out here in this market. And yesterday, what we did have is this. You got to higher price, volume contracted, which makes sense in the summer. Uh, Roku. Roku's got some juice behind it this morning. That's up five dollars and fifty cents. You got Microsoft down a buck twenty. Um, U.S. Steel uh, up fifty cents. So what's going on in the steel market? Let's go take a look at this. Okay, so steel's off the lows. Three weeks ago, you're trading eleven sixty-seven. You're at fifteen. Dollars. That's going to need more juice also. 877-927-6648. We have the uh, gold contract right now uh, trading at 1411. S&Ps right now down 150. Come right back. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, TAS understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the TAS Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. 
Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in a Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is down 15. Nasdaq's off 12. S&P's are down two and a half. Let's go to our uh, man, Andrew, in Tampa. Andrew, what's going on, brother? Hey, how you doing, Tom? I'm doing Welcome great. Back. yourself? Hey, um, got a question for you. I was looking at FireEye. Um, wondering your, your thoughts on there, if it's sort of, it's been trying to break out, pulling back a little. Let's take a look. You got F-E-Y-E. -E. Uh, they provide malware protection systems. Uh, the low is 13, the high is 20. Let's take a look at this baby here. Okay, so. Interesting. Okay, so we, we take this back. You know, you get uh, about a year ago, you're at 20 bucks. You, you come down into 13, which was going against a big consolidation. Okay, so 1578. Now, do you own this right now? Or are you looking to buy it? Yeah, I, no, I have a small position okay. in it. Um, I have about a buck in it. You know, nice. I didn't like yesterday's action. Okay. Um, and then I was looking at it this morning. It sort of hit that low and bounced up. Yeah, so I, th you know, <clears throat> if you happen to watch the Tiger TV, so that downdraft that occurred on the uh, 7th of uh, February. That's quite a move, you know. And it it, it opened, it traded the prior day at 1866. It comes down hard, down to 16. That's going to be the level that's going to be its building cause to get through. So, I mean, I think you're all right till 16 bucks. Um, as it gets into that, that's when you're going to have to look and say, okay, does it have enough juice to get through it? Now, most times, what happens is this: when you go up into a downdraft like this. The first time, you normally don't get through it at all. You're not even close. What you're going to be looking for is you're going to be looking for expansion of volume as it gets up to that level. You can see, like, what, four days ago, I got the 15.94, and you only did 2.6 million. Now, you, you right. certainly can't expect to do what you did in the downdraft, which is 18, but what you're going to look for the next time is that you are going to look for an expansion of volume. If you don't get that expansion of volume, you want to get out of town, man. 
because that is saying it's not done yet. And, you know, the way that it did trade on May 29th, down at that 1385, that can get retested. That's kind of how that shakes out. But, um, you know, that's, that's how I'd basically trade that thing. Let's take a look. So they also... Okay, so J July 30th, they come out with the numbers. And uh, they're going to be looking for... $215 million gross and making 11 cents. It's kind of intriguing here when you look at these numbers. Uh, this quarter, it looks like they go down substantially and then they're going to go up the next quarter. 11, they're looking for 11 cents this quarter, but then 69 the next quarter. So whatever they've been going through, it looks like they're saying that, okay, this is the, this is the quarter that is going to be the worst quarter, and we're going to go higher from there. You know? But I, I think at this point, yeah, you get some action you know, up into the $16 level once again. And if it, if it dies in the vine, man, just, you know, just back off. Yep. Cook it, man. Okay. Have a great one. I appreciate one. it. Makes sense. Thanks a lot. Okay. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Let's go take a look at Microsoft. So Microsoft out here, let's see what's happening here. You know, Microsoft uh, down a buck 37. Not that is a lot because Microsoft is totally at highs. Um, let me just see something. So Microsoft's coming out. July 18th. Oh, this is going to get interesting, man. So we're going to we're, you got an ex, we got a big expansion uh, of the number of equities. You know, the banks kicked that off this morning, but we're going to be fast and furious out here for the next couple of weeks. Microsoft is at highs. Uh, that being said, though, you know this has been a one-way uh, trip. There's no doubt. Uh, we go back to the uh, just December. It was at 93. You're at 137, and. <laughs> Uh, you go back to 2016, you're at 56, and you're at 137. It's pretty intense. So we'll see uh, if, in fact, it can stay at a higher price. What I expect we're going to see out here is that this S&P wants to finish this ABC structure on the way up. When you take a look at the SPY, what you have with the SPY, you're at 300. Your price projection is 303 to 305. You have two separate ABC structures on the way up. And you can see what's happening out here this morning. This morning... We still have light volume. We get 5 million shares. That being said, it will not back off. This market will not back off. It wants to finish this ABC structure on the way up. Uh, we go look, take a look at the VIX. And when you're going to see with the VIX, that keeps continuing lower. Right now, we're at 12.49. And uh, I expect this one here wants to try to hit the 12.04. And we'll see whether it can get down to that uh, 11 print. The, we, the last time we printed 11 was on uh, April 17th. But guess what? It's, it's, it's game again, particularly in summer trading. Uh, what's going to get interesting here is that between the S&P finishing its ABC structure on the way up, earnings coming out, the real question is going to be, does this take a couple weeks to get going? Because time, folks, uh, you know, we're already dealing with the 16th of July. There's going to be a window dressing before we know it coming into August. And then, bottom line, you're coming into the fall. And, of course, what ends up happening uh, into the fall, uh, it's not that you, this happens all the time, but uh, weakness in the marketplace. If the market's going to sell off, it's going to have the chance to sell off uh, coming into the fall. Dollar, dollar, uh, let's go take a look at that dollar once again. This dollar, bottom line, does not want to give it up. Um, now, what we have out here today is that you get dramatically light volume. We're at 8,000 contracts. And this dollar has been trading in this range since last October. You know, what we had out here yesterday is this. So picture, yesterday you, you come down with 8,500 contracts, anemic contract volume, right? You're going against the strength that was established out here on the 5th of July when we had 24,000. That being said, guess what? Now today you're getting higher and your volume's contracting once again. Now, uh, needless to say, it's only 1030 in the morning. Uh, so this can still get volume. Most times in the dollar index, the dollar index most times has the most amount of volume from 8.30 until about 10 o'clock in the morning. And if you don't get the volume, then most times you're not going to get it the rest of the day. That's how that kind of uh, shakes out. Oil. We take a look at the oil market. Uh, what we have out here with oil, oil gave it up yesterday right at that $60 level. Uh, we have out here today... Uh, you're at 59.79, and it looks like it's going to give it up again. And uh, what oil did do uh, when it gave it up yesterday, uh, you, you got down, you traded lower, and you had volume on the move. 
So if oil closes uh, today under the $60 uh, level, once again, bottom line, that is saying that uh, it is going to try to make a run down into this uh, $56 level. Gasoline, uh, gasoline also went south yesterday. Let's say there is, let's do gas. Where is that active? Con there we go. Okay, so we take a look at the uh, August contract. Right now, we're at 194 on wholesale. Uh, what this did, this went up to its highs last week, got to a price point of uh, two, 203 a gallon, and couldn't handle it. Uh, that was testing the 203 that was established out here on the 22nd of April. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Miss call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the markets, folks, they're all flat, laying out here flat. Silver's the one who's caught the bid out here today. Silver's up 30 cents. Come right back. folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates to my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 25. You get the NASDAQ. Uh, flat s and is also flat. Let's go into the Dow Industrials and see what is uh, pushing the Dow uh, into a green right now. You have uh, 3M. 3M is putting 28 uh, positive points. Goldman's putting 28. Dow 
DuPont is putting eight, you get Boeing putting six. Taken away from it, Johnson & Johnson, negative 13. You have United Health, uh, negative 10, and McDonald's, negative eight. Inside the NDX 100, strength versus the weakness inside the NDX. You have uh, J.B. Hunt. Uh, ooh, that's a big move. Let's look at this. Up 7% or $7.26. This is a monster move. Now, no doubt, this is down from 115 hit 85 bucks last week. This number's coming out or what? Let's see. So, yeah, big numbers. So revenue, revenue, uh, the estimate was uh, $2.26 billion. They came in with $2.26 billion. Um, net revenue, $133 million. Uh, the earnings per share, uh, they were expecting $1.37. They did $1.23, so they didn't bring it to the bottom line. But uh, gross profits, uh, I mean, gross revenue, uh, they had it, no doubt. And so let me pull this back. Interesting. So this is going to bring it down from a buck thirty-one a couple of years ago. Let me see what this is trading against. Interesting. Okay, so <clears throat> this is a classic, man. This It, it broke out. So... We take a look at uh, J.B. Hunt. We this broke out in November of 2016. Uh, it goes from 80 to 95 dollars, goes all the way up to 131, comes back down and tests that area, and mm, it's test this area with, with, with volume though. So this is going to be something to keep your eye on. And what there's there's no doubt what has happened here is if we look, we look at the sector, T.R. The transportation sector in general, uh, this caught a bit out here. You're up, uh, J.P. Hunt, of course, uh, is the one on the move. But look at this. There's, it's, I gotta believe it's, yeah, every one, every equity inside the transportation sector, folks, is in the positive. You get J.P. Hunt uh, up $7. You get FedEx up 4 uh, You get uh, United Airlines up uh, two fifty six. Look at this, man. Expedia is up a dollar thirty-four. American Airlines is up uh, seventy cents. You get JetBlue up seventy-two. You got the transports up two hundred and fifty-seven points. That is one big number, man. No two ways about that. Now let's see. We also. I'm going to bring up the IYT because it looks like you're going to have another ABC structure on the way up. So the IYT is the ETF for the transportation. You're taking out a B point. Yeah, and you're going to have the volume. Interesting. So transport said they look like they're going to go test this high that was established out here at 200 bucks. That high was established on the 24th. Um, yeah, 24th of April. Uh, bottom line, that's, that's, it, wants, it wants that higher price. So uh, let's go take a look at a few of the airlines out here. You got American Airlines. That's up 74 cents. That's down from 59 bucks. You're at 34. Okay, so when you take a look at the airlines, the airlines do not look. This, like, to me, is a dead cat bounce. You know, you, you came down hard. Put this on a monthly. Yeah, you came down hard. Um, the airlines don't look like they want to move. That being said, this, well, let's CSX. Let's go take a look at the rails. The truckers want to move. CSX. The rails, CSX up a buck sixty-one. You're trading eighty dollars and ten cents. Yeah, it's gonna break out. Yeah, so this is, uh, you know, this is a big move. The high is eighty dollars and seventy-three cents. You're eighty oh five. Fifteen million on the weekly. What did we do yesterday? They can do it. You did 3.4 million yesterday, and that would be on track to do 15 million. And this is a this is a tight consolidation at highs. So if that breaks top side, it's a very large ABC structure up. So this is intriguing, big time. 80. Yeah, it's a 22.8 to B, which would get you 95 bucks. 
And right now you're at uh, 80. Let's go see. Norfolk Southern. So CSX has been one of the strongest ones. Norfolk Southern, NSC. Let's see this. NSC. That's up 375. That's also going after its highs. Yeah. And the, uh, Norfolk Southern has a high volume high. That baby is uh, trading uh, 211, that high volume high. That's, that's, it's going to go after that number. That's how this uh, thing is shaking out. Let's go take a look at the uh, SLV, which is the ETF for the silver market. That's uh, trading up 23 cents. You have 14 million shares traded. Uh, this is taking out a B point. It's going to have the volume. Yep, it's going to be an ABC structure up. So uh, 1450 is your B point. 13.39, so we're talking about uh, 2.20, which is going to get you 14, 16.20. Ooh, yeah, 16.20. So this has, this has a run. This has a run. 16.20 and 16, all right, 14. No, no, okay, I knew that was too much. It's a 1.20. 14.50 is the B. Yeah, 1.20 which we get you uh, 1520, 1520, right? We're at 1465, and that swing high up there, look at that. The swing high that it's going after uh, back in February is at 1521. So uh, there's no doubt what someone is uh, in there buying a silver uh, hand over fist. And evidently, they, they absolutely came in that futures market uh, and also bought that hand over fist. Because what we have here is that you've done 73,000 contracts right now. You're at $15.67, and it's gonna, that's also going to be an ABC structure on the way up. That's going to take it up to the $16.47. And the, the deal here, which is kind of interesting, really interesting, actually, is that you still have the dollar that is not giving it up. The, the dollar is up 40 ticks. And bonds basically are pulling back. The bond market pulling back, though, uh, that volume is anemic right now. The, do, the dollar... Yes, it's anemic on the way up, but that's holding price. Where the bond market has got into its lows this morning, the 10-year has got it into its lows, it tested the low, and thus far it's rejected that level. You know, not that we're, we're not far off it. 126.24 was the number. Uh, we're at 126.28 right now. <clears throat> but the way that that is set up, it looks to me we're going to build a little cause uh, to basically not only reject that lower price out here. More than likely, we're going to see bond market uh, by the end of the day either flat or down a few ticks. Dow, Dow Industrials up 30, NASDAQ down 5, S&P's a flat. Come right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in a Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN.
Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 28. Nasdaq's down 3. S&P's a flat. And what we do have going on right now, folks, in Congress is that you have uh, Facebook uh, is uh, there right now getting questioned by the senators uh, about Libra. And it's really intriguing. Uh, you know, I, I got a live feed up here watching some of them. And it's almost like, okay, how many are getting paid off in an extraordinary way uh, to basically uh, be kind uh, to Facebook, you know, it, because you, some of these questions uh, are, are pretty intense. You get Pat Toomey out here, um, and uh, at this particular point, let's see, uh, Toomey's uh, ur considering, uh, urges considering the benefits as well as the risk of Libra. He asks what uh, the ultimate motive is and says that if it's rolled out as described, uh, would, uh, there would be a very ra valuable data about payments. He wonders if the business model uh, ever includes seeking consent to access and commercialize that data. Um, he also uh, is asking about the revenue from Libra's basket. He says it's odd that the not-for-profit like Libra to pay potentially unlimited dividends. He questions whether or not uh, it is a profit or non-profit entity. So it's, it's intriguing. Uh, how this whole thing's going to uh, shake out. Uh, they, uh, Marcus, uh, who is the uh, guy in charge of the Libra project for Facebook, uh, they question him, uh, saying, well, uh, would you uh, basically take Facebook uh, Libra as currency? And he says, yeah, I'll not only take it as currency, I'll take it uh, for my pay. Uh, this is going to be, this is going to be a trip. And so where, where Facebook is positioning themselves right now, uh, as Marcus is talking to them, he's saying, hey, listen, if we don't do it, another country's going to do it. You know what the difference is, though, folks? Another country can do it, just like Bitcoin or anything else. Facebook has all the, all the I believe it's 3 billion people that are on Facebook. So the bottom line is if Facebook does get away with it, guess what? They own the money supply, and if you think they, uh, they own data, guess what? Uh, it's going to be uh, not just data. Uh, you, you get hold of the money supply, you own the whole ball of wax. So my take on this is that uh, that is not going to fly. Walmart. Let's go take a look at Walmart. So we have Amazon Prime Day. Guess what? Uh, Walmart, uh, bottom line, still at highs. So uh, whatever uh, is happening inside the Walmart world, uh, it seems like it's working. They're going to be coming out with their numbers on the August 15th. They hit an all-time high out here today at 115.49. And uh, bottom line is that we know they, uh, you, we talk about uh, revenue, uh, revenue is pretty extraordinary. We're talking, the next uh, earnings call, they're coming out with $130 billion. That's $130 billion. So check that out in 90 days. Doesn't get much better than that. There's no, no two ways about that. 
Let's go take a look at the copper market, HG, because what you have out here, I suspect, if this commodity run is going to really start moving, which I, I suspect it is, we are going to see many commodities start moving, not just the gold and silver market. Um, the, the copper market, that's, it's down from $3. We, we traded $3 uh, a couple months ago. You're $2.72 right now. It looks like it bottomed out a few, uh, few weeks ago, trading at that, the $2.59 area. And now we'll see with copper, it's going to be crucial. Can it get through $2.75? We're only two pennies away from that. Uh, but what you do have, that's where the first time off the bottom had some strength. Gave it up at that area. Now, what we do have out here this morning, you have strength out here this morning in the co inside the copper market in a big way. Uh, this came in uh, 10 past 10 this morning. There's some decent strength uh, inside of that. Let's go look at Freeport Mac Moran. Uh, that is trading up 16 cents. No big deal there, but uh, this is, looks like it's going to go after that B point. Let's see, 17 million. It's going to have volume. This is pretty good. Uh, right now, what, we, what we're at, we're... We're at uh, eleven dollars and thirty cents. Eleven seventy nine is the B point of an ABC structure on the way up. Now I don't expect that's going to take that out today, uh, but what the way this is set up, uh, it has a chance to take that out. If, if that is the case, you're talking about a decent uh, A to B, a two point A to B for eleven dollar stock. That'll bring you eleven seventy nine. 220, it's talking uh, 1280. Yeah, 1280, not bad. Uh, SCCO, now this would be the largest, let's look at SCCO. So this is the largest copper stock out here, Southern Copper. That's up 63 cents, trading $38.03. 76,000 uh, shares. Now, that, that needs more volume. That definitely needs more volume. So we'll see if that uh, can, can catch a bid. ExxonMobil. Let's go take a look at a few of these. Uh, actually, let's look at Halliburton first. So if we take a look at Halliburton, okay, it's rejected lower price. Okay, cool. So Halliburton's rejected uh, 2323, and this baby looks to me like you're, you're going to try to get up into this uh, $26 area. Right now you're at 23 You know what has moved in a big way, folks, is that uh, the potash stocks. Uh, if we take a look at uh, CF Industries, that's up $0.36 cents right now, trading $48.24. Uh, uh, $48 this is, let's see, is it going to take out the bid? $47.92, yeah. Okay, so what we have out here today, this is going to be an ABC up. And it doesn't look like it's going to have the volume. I need, you need 2.8 million. Um, right now, we're at 249,000. There's no way it's going to get it. Um, last couple of days, you had wide price spread. In three days, this equity has moved from $43 to 48. So you're talking about big numbers here. We pull this back. You're coming into a downdraft, but it has the juice. This is, this is something you want to watch. So the, what you have here, for, so picture this. We have the aspect of gold has already moved. Silver is moving now. Copper hasn't moved just yet. The potash equities, when they start moving, when those nitrogen equities start moving, folks, okay, that is an indication that the whole market, the commodity market is going to move. You know? uh, and we haven't seen that in years, in years. Um, in a big way. Let's go take a look at the Tigers are telling me uh, Nova Gold. Look at this. Nova Gold has moved. Oh, my God. So this has gone from $3.69 uh, May 30th. You're at six eighteen right now. Let's see what they're saying. Hmm. Let me put this back. I wonder if they're going to get uh, put this on a monthly, okay. So now on a monthly, this is moving just like the rest of them have actually, you know, because what you're doing right now, it's getting closer though, uh, $7.27. Now this way it gets intriguing. 727 is the high that was established in 2016. And 
or 2019, this is the best run that we've had since 2016. That's what it comes down to. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 six and three months timer digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well the fact is markets can be timed and i'll teach you the exact set of tools that i use that has transformed me into one of the best at what i do sign up for mastering probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where i take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls to sign up today it's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let Gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is up 16. NASDAQ is down 8. S&P is up 1.5. And, a half, and uh, that silver market keeps moving. You're up uh, 34 cents. If we do go take a look at uh, Pan American silver, folks, that's going to be an ABC structure on the way up. It's getting some juice underneath it right now. You're taking out that B point. The B point is 1362. You're 1375. And you're going to get the volume. The B point on this, uh, 4.6 million. Right now, we've already done 2 million. Uh, that gets you 1362. Let's do it again. So, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a big number. Uh, 10, say so you're talking, what, 3, 1362. Yeah, 350. Going to get, that's, that's, this baby wants to get up into this 1525, and right now you're at 1376. You see this intraday, uh, it's been a one way move. Uh, bottom line is that uh, when we started the program out here, this uh, baby, baby was at 1336. You just added another 40, point, 40 cents. Uh, and you just had someone else came back in here uh, 
uh, the last 10 minute bar and did some juice also. So if we look at it this way, watch this. I'll put the, you can see what's happening here is that uh, it's not not heavy, but there's, there's enough. You, you get a couple of traders in there, you know, banging out 10,000 at a time. Uh, if you happen to be watching Tiger TV, uh, you, you're looking, you get 25,000, 2014. And one of the Tigers are telling me that uh, first majestic is all there you go man it's moved there this is this is gonna be a run folks this is a run okay uh, they'll pile on this in about a second uh, that's what's happening since I've been on 60 minutes they're piling on another ABC structure on the way up first majestic we brought that up um, this is gonna be an ABC up too. look at this this didn't have the volume when we started it's running baby it's running you stay right there if you haven't checked out the gold report, folks, go do it. Um, stay right there. We get fast markets coming up. Then we've got our man, Mr. Bowser Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. I'll be back this afternoon. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one.